Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be talking about file modes, particularly permissions on Pontix like platforms. And we're just going to be talking about some of the normal modes today. There's some other more advanced ones and we won't get into those. Without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, so you might have seen these terms before. You might have seen read, write, execute, and chmod, and modes, and 755, and 6400, whatever. You might have seen a bunch of these stuff. Uh, I'm going to try and explain all of them today, so hopefully you get a better understanding of what all of those mean. Um, so let's first show the tools that we're going to be using today. The first thing we're going to be using is, you know, oops, is uh, touch, which is going to allow us to create files. We're also going to be using makedir, which allows us to make directories. We're going to be using ls-al which will show us all of the files and uh, directories inside of the current you know, location. And it will also show us these mode bits. And this is what we'll talk about a little bit more. We're also going to be using chmod, uh, which is how you can change the mode of a particular file. Um, and we'll also be looking at umask, but we'll get to umask later. That's a little bit more complicated. <clears throat> Uh, first off, let's talk about what these uh, mode bits are and how they're represented on the file system. If we, uh, let's actually chmod, chmod 750 this file. Now, typically when you, you know, use numbers in chmod, you're referring to this uh, in octal. And octal is base eight. Normally we count with base 10 because we have 10 digits on our fingers. Um, the base 8 uses 8 for each number, uh, so they, they go from 0 to 7 instead of 0 to 9. And one easy way to visualize what base 8 is on a binary level is to use Python and the built-in bin function. So I usually do this to visualize what's going on there. And you can see that it has spit out a number of bits. Now these bits are actually split into three sections here, so you can see how... I'll ignore this one, it has special permissions. Uh, but you'll see how there are three sets of read, write, execute bits here. And you can see those represented in binary from this number here. I actually should have run LSAL first uh, before we looked at 750, which is what I changed this to. And you'll notice here that, you know, when there are zeros, that means that you do not have that permission. And you always see them in read, write, execute triplets. Uh, so this says that the read bit for... The third triplet is is false, the write bit is false, and the execute bit is false. You'll also see that for the middle bit, uh, or the middle the middle triplet, it has read and execute, and the uh, leftmost triplet has read, write, and execute. Now, uh, if we're looking at each of these three triplets, <laughs> a triplet of triplets even, uh, the first triplet represents the permissions that the owner has. So the, the particular user that owns the file. So you'll see in this case that um, Asatili, which is my user, owns this A file. So that means I can read it, I can write it, uh, and I can execute this file. So you can see read, write, and execute. And what execute means is that I can run the file. So, you know, if this were a script, user bin and Python print hello world. Uh, because it has the execute bit, and because my user has execute permissions, I can dot slash a and run run this as if it were a script. <clears throat> if it didn't have that permission, I would not be able to run that. And, the, and one way you can remove the permission is using chmod minus x. This is to say, remove the execute permission from all three of the triplets of, of this a file. And so you can see now if I were to try and run this, you'll get permission denied because my user does not have access to execute that uh, that file. I, I as the owner. The second triplet here is the, oops, sorry, second triplet here is the group permission. So when we looked in LSAL, this column here is the owner and this column is the group. In this case, the group is the same as my user because I created the file. You can actually sudo ch group. Uh, what group do we want to change this to? Actually, what, what groups does my user have? <laughs> First off, uh, let's use, I don't know, <laughs> the PC runner user, which is another project that I work on right now. Um, so I can do sudo ch group uh, PC runner A and type in my bad password. 
and you'll see that now the group of uh, this file is the PC runner, or anyone that's in the PC runner can read this file. So if we, you know, change to that user, which is part of that group, uh, PC runner, um, cat A. So you can see that the PC runner user can cat this file, but uh, this last triplet is for other users, anyone who's not in the owner or the group uh, of this file. And so if we were to change to, for instance, nobody, which is another user which is not PC Runner or myself, you'll see that nobody cannot show the contents of this file. So it cannot read them. And that's what the, the read bit is for. And the write bit is for, you know, changing the contents of this file. So in this case, I can change the contents. The PC Runner user cannot change the contents. And of course, no one else can change the contents. And it's, it's very unusual that you ever give write permission to the other user because uh, that would mean that anyone on the machine could suddenly write to that file um, so if you ever see like chmod 777 in a tutorial with triple sevens a big red flag should open up in your head and you should be like no this means that anyone can write that file that's that's not a good thing um, unfortunately i see this suggested a lot on stack overflow so <laughs> be, be very careful of what you copy and paste from there um, but yeah, that's that's read, write, execute, as well as what each of these triplets mean. And this is for files. For directories, it's a little bit different. Uh, the read and write permissions are basically the same, but directories aren't executable, so you can't execute them. Uh, but what the execute bit means for directories is whether you can list their contents. So uh, we saw, let's actually touch D slash, you know, a couple of files in here. One, two, three. Um, there's an ex accidental had a trailing com here, uh, but you can see that there are three files here, and I can list the contents of D here. Uh, Ld. So the this directory has read write execute permission for user, read write execute for uh, group ownership, and only read and execute for others. This means that you know anyone that is in this group can write this. Uh, my owner can do read, write, and execute, but other people can only read the contents. They can't write to them. Um, so you can see again, if I did sudo dash u nobody, this is a person which is not part of my group and not me. Um, they can list the contents of this directory. But if we were to remove that, so we can do sudo dash u o minus x. Actually, I don't need sudo. Why am I? What am I doing? chmod uh, o minus x. This is saying for the other triplet, remove execute permission on directory. Um, and you can see here that now that execute permission is gone. And if I were to become the nobody user, they can no longer access the contents of this directory. It's interesting that they can partially see the contents, but they they can't see any of the, the modes in here. Actually, I've never seen this output before. This is actually very, very weird. How did it know that these things existed? Weird. Anyway, <laughs> um, that's that's mode bits. The last little thing about mode bits is there's a thing called UMask on uh, Pathics platforms, and the UMask changes how the default mode of a file gets created. Uh, the values that I've typically seen this set to is either 0, 0, 0, 0002, which I changed before the video and I forgot to change it back, or the value 0, 0, 0022. This is, I think, the more common value that I've seen. Um, but what this says is it says these bits should... Wait, is it not set or forced to set? Let's see. <laughs> Bin 0022. Uh, these are the bits that should not be set when creating the file by default. So you'll see if I, you know, touch X and we look at the contents of X, you'll see that the right bit, uh, oh, what is my UMask right now? Where's X? Oh, <laughs> I, I listed the wrong file. Okay, yeah, so you'll see that the right bits are not set on X because my UMask is 2, 2. If I set my UMask to 0, 0, 0, and then touch uh, X2, You'll see that, uh, and this is, you should not set UMask to 000, obviously, because it gives write permission to uh, the other user, but you can see that that uh, allowed the write permission to happen for all of the, um, all of the users here. Now, the, the, the other typical value that you see here is 002, which 
Um, if you predict this, it should leave the right bit and uh, not have the right bit for other. Oops, if we touch x3 and ls that, you can see that we have removed the right bit here, but we, we do have it for the group. Anyway, that's kind of a crash course on permissions. There's a lot of stuff in here, so you know, if you need to, watch it twice. Um, but thank you all for watching. If you guys have additional stuff that you want me to see, leave a comment in below. Uh, but until next time, I'll see you guys around. Have a good one. Bye.